Hello mga math enthusiasts! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang math ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. At andito na naman si Teacher Maria, ang inyong math buddy para tulungan kayo sa mga problema nyo sa math. And for today sa video, ang pag-uusapan natin ay tungkol pa rin sa real numbers. Pero i-guide ko na kayo dun sa learning task to letter C ng inyong mga module. So part 3 na ito ha, kung hindi pa napapanood yung Part 1 and Part 2, i-check lang sa playlist. Mga anak, lahat ng guide sa task natin ay kompleto. Matutong gumamit ng playlist para ma-check. Okay? At ito na rin, oh no, ito yung second to the last lesson na i-discuss natin for this week. And masaya ako na tapos na natin ang ating first quarter at magkikita-kita na naman tayo sa second quarter. So, mga anak ko, sana nag-enjoy kayo, nasamahan ko kayo, at turuan ko kayo ngayong new normal with all of this guide. Ngayon, i-comment yan sa ating comment section na kung nag-enjoy at natulungan ko kayo ng sobra-sobra sa inyong mga module. Okay, pero bago ko simula ng video tutorial na ito, mga anak ko, siguraduhin na munang napindot nyo na dyan ang like button. O, sige, pindutin na. At syempre, kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin mo na rin dyan ang subscribe button. At i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na, na-like, na-subscribe at na-hit na rin ang notification bell. Kung okay na, tara na, simulan na natin. Okay, for letter C, use real numbers to represent the following real situations or real life situations. Ngayon mga anak ko, tatandaan ninyo na kapag ang uh, description ay negative, ibig sabihin yung sign niya ay negative, katulad ng decrease, below, off, to the left. Those are uh, descriptions that are negative. Ngayon, kung uh, positive naman, like up, right, increase, ascend, gain, yun naman yung mga uh, description for positive. Okay? So, let's have this one. A temperature of 10 degrees below zero. Okay? So, ang description natin dyan ay below. ba? So, ano siya? Since negative yon yung below, then we will represent this as negative 10. Okay, next. A gain of 8 kilogram in weight. Gain means nadagdagan ka. ba? So, kung nadagdagan ka, ano yun? That's positive 8. Okay ha? Pwede nang walang positive, pwede namang meron ha? Kasi mga anak ko, kapag ang number ay walang sign, ibig sabihin, automatic positive na siya. Now, a sea level. Pag sinabing sea level, di ba yung dagat, siya yung pinaka, pinaka basis ninyo. Pag bumaba ka na dun sa pinaka, teka, kunyari, ito yung ha, cliff. Natatandaan yung discussion ko. Ito yung sea level. Ayan. So, parang ito, yung sea level natin, lahat ng nasa taas ng sea level, positive. Lahat ng nasa baba, negative. So, ano siya? Zero siya. Okay. O, dito, hindi ko na ilalagay yung sagot, ha? Explain ko na lang. 80 pesos off. Pag off, nabawasan. Kung off yan, ano siya? Negative or positive? O, kayo na dyan, ha? Additional of 5 points. Additional. Is it negative or positive? Pag na-identify nyo na kung negative and positive, ilagay nyo yung number, ha? Katulad ng ginawa ko dito sa 1 and 2. Next, a drop of 10 in a heart rate. Bumaba daw ng 10. So, how are you going to represent that? A plane ascends 1,500 feet. Pag sinabing ascends, tumaas. Okay? Kumbaga, nag-fly high siya. <laughs> one, ng 1,500. Okay? So, paano nyo siya i-represent? Is it positive 1,500 or negative 1,500? Mika got a, deduct a deduction of a 5 points. Nadedukan daw siya. So, ano ibig sabihin ng deduction? Nabawasan. So, how are you going to represent that? And then, Daniel went six floors or went down six floors. So, bumaba siya ng anim na floor. So, paano nyo siya represent Is that positive six or negative six? 
For number 10, a slice of cake that is divided into 16 equal slices. So, na-divide yung isang cake into 16 equal slices. So, so paano nyo siya i-represent? -re okay, and that's it. Let's go to number, uh, number, learning task number 3. Teka, bakit ayaw kong umusog? Wait lang. Ayan. So, for learning task number 3, inside each set and subset, write at least a 5 examples of each kind of numbers. Ha? Pero hindi ko na kinopya yung drawing. Ilalagay ko na lang dito yung example ko, pero wag nyo gagayahin. Ha? Gumawa kayo ng sarili nyong example. Yun yung ilalagay nyo dun sa inyong uh, mozul, yung pinaka-picture. So, integers, alam naman natin na ito ay composed of negative numbers, so zero and positive numbers. Okay? So, we can have here as o, oh, puro negative na lang ilalagay ko kasi example lang naman. Negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1. Pero you can choose any negative numbers, any positive numbers. Pwede, ha? Sa whole numbers naman, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Yan lang ang example ko. Pwedeng 5, pwedeng 10, pwedeng 1,000, pwedeng 1 million. Ha? Pwede yun sa whole numbers. And then sa rational numbers, yung mga numbers na may square root. Kunyari, square root of 4, square root of uh, 16. Kasi may perfect square siya, diba? Square root ng 4. Ay, may, may perfect square siya. Meron siyang square root. Square root of 4, 2. Square root ng 16, 4. Pwede ring fraction na 4 over 5. Pwede ding 3 over 7. Okay, isa pa. Uh, pwede ring square root of 81. Ayan. So, yan yung mga rational numbers. Okay, pwede ring decimal ha. Pero dapat terminating siya and repeating. Now, natural numbers or counting numbers, parang whole numbers lang din naman siya. So, we have uh, 10, sige, 15, 18, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5. O, yan yung example ko. And then, for irrational number, we have pi. Pi yan, ha? mukha lang 3 yan. Pero pi, yung letter E, irrational yan. Uh, square root of 2, wala kasi tayong square root of 2 na exact yung value. And then, square root of 5, basta lahat ng hindi perfect square ay irrational. And then, square root of 7. Huwag nang gayahin yung binigay ni Teacher Maria, Maria ha, gumawa kayo ng sarili ninyo. Okay, now, for the problem solving part, solve the following problem. Maria worked on her mathematics homework for two-thirds hour. And her science homework for 5 over 6 hours. How long did she spend in all doing homework? So, ilan daw lahat ng naubos niyang oras? So, ang gagawin natin, syempre, dahil uh, tinatanong kung ilang oras lahat na Google niya, eh di we add, di ba? Ilan sa math, 2 thirds, okay? Plus, sa science is a 5 over 6. Spend all. So, add natin sila. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, we can only add fractions that are similar. Pero dahil dissimilar sila, let's get the LCD. And then, sa video ko, sinabi ko na kapag ang smaller number, kaya niyang ibigay, ay ibigay, i-divide yung bigger number, ibig sabihin yung LCD niya, yung bigger number. O, let's check si 3 ba? Kayang i-divide si 6? Opo. So, ang LCD natin ay yung bigger number, 6. 6 divided by 3, oh, divide times ha, 6 divided by 3 is 2 times 2, you have 4. And then 6 divided by 6 is 1 times 5 is 5. And then we add 4 plus 5, you have 9 over 6. Kung pwedeng i-lowest term, i-lowest term. Okay, ito ay divisible by 3, i-lowest term natin. So 9 divided by 3, we have there... 3, 6 divided by 3 is 2. 3 over 2 or convert natin in mixed number, 3 divided by 2 is 1. Tama? Pag convert ng mixed number natin, di ba ganyan? 3 divided by 2 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. 3 minus 2 is 1. So, this is 1 and 1 half. So, dito ko na lang ilalagay. 1 eh, or 1 and 1 half hour. O, yan yung na spend niya. 
Okay, next number two. There are 80 students in a class. Three-fourths of them are girls. How many boys are there? So, madali lang to. You just have to multiply. So, 80 times 3 over 4. Okay? So, you just have to have it 1. Kasi whole number ito, di ba? Ang denominator niya ay 1. So, 80 times 3, that is 240. Divided by 4. Oh, what is 240 divided by 4? We have there 60. Okay. So, 3 fourths of them are girls. So, itong 3 fourths na to, girls to ha? Girls to. Eh, ang tanong, how many boys are there? Kung may 60 na girls, ilan ngayon ang boys? So, you need to subtract para malaman ninyo kung ilan ang boys. Teka. So, you will have here another operation which is 80 minus 60. So, that is 20 are boys. 20 of them or 20 students are boys. Okay, now, one day in Baguio, the temperature went from negative 5 degrees Celsius to 15 degrees Celsius. Now, what is the change in temperature? Ilan daw yung naging change? So, you just have to simply subtract 15 minus negative 5. And alam naman natin na we are doing KCC pag nagsasubtract tayo. So, 15, keep change and then change. So, 15 plus 5, you have 20 degrees Celsius. Yung naging change of temperature. And then, for number 4, the elevation of Mount Mara is 39. 1,000, 0.38 feet. The elevation of the Angel Sea is negative 862 feet. Uh, find the difference in the elevation between Mount Everest and Dead Sea. So, we have 39,038. 39, okay, minus negative 862. Okay, so we do KCC, keep change and then change. So, we are adding 39,038 with 862. Solve ko dito. And then, 862. 8, 10, carry 1, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, carry 1, 8, 9. So, we have there 39. So, we have 39,900 feet. And for the last one, Angie cleans one-third of the yard. Alex cleans three-fourth of the remaining. And... So, the question is, what fraction of the yard is left unclean? So, si Angie, one-third daw yung nalinis niya. Tapos si Alex, three-fourth of the remaining. E, ilan ba ang remaining? Kung si Angie ay naka one-third, ilan na lang natira? Two-thirds. So, three-fourths of that two-thirds. So, imumultiply natin para makuha natin ilan yung nalinis ni Alex. So, three-fourths of two-thirds is just simply three-fourths times two-thirds. Okay? Three times two is six. So, four times three is twelve. Lowest term natin, divisible by three. Divisible by three. Divisible by three. So, six divided by three is two. Twelve divided by three is ano? Divisible by 6 ito. Tama ba? Okay, divisible by 6. So, this will be 6 and then 6. 6 divided by 6 is 1. 12 divided by 6 is 2. Ah, pwede na palang makancel to dito. 1 and then 1 and then 1. This is 2. So, 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 1 is 2. Pero kung di kayang mag-cancel, you can multiply and then saka na lang kayo mag-lowest term. Ha? So, si Alex, ang nalinis ay 1 half. So, i-check natin si Angie para malaman natin ilan nalinis nila. Wait lang. Angie plus Alex. Okay? So, 1 third plus 1 half. Okay? LCD nila. Okay, di ba sabi ko, kapag hindi kayang ma-divide ng maliit na number, yung malaking number, itry nyong i-multiply sa 2 yung uh, bigger number, sa kanyo itry i-divide. So, 3 times 2, 6. Si 6 ba kaya nang i-divide na 2? Kaya na. So, you just have to have that 6. And then, 6 divided by 3, tanggalin ko na to, dapat sa isip na lang kasi nagaganap yun. 6 divided by 3 is 2 times 1, you have 2. 6 divided by 2 is... 
3 times 1 is 3. And then you add 2 plus 3 is a 5 over 6. So, 5 over 6 na yung nalinis nila. Pero ang tanong, ilan pa ba yung hindi nalilinis? Okay, kung ang 1 whole ay 6 over 6, minus nyo siya with 5 over 6. Eto ha, kaya 6 over 6 yung ginamit ko dito kasi yung denominator na rin dito ay 6. Pero kung 7 yung lumabas sa inyo, 7. Kung 8, 8 over 8. Kung 12, 12 over 8. 12, ha? Kasi yun yung one whole. Kasi ito yung naging denominator natin. Ibig sabihin na divide sila into 6 parts. Okay? So, 6 minus 5 is 1 over 6. Okay? So, ang hindi pa nalilinis ay 1 over 6. Okay? Yard. Ayan. What fraction of the yard? So, 1 over 6 of the yard. Okay. 1 over 6 of the yard. Yung hindi pa nalilinis. Kasi isang buo. So, 1 over 6 nun. Okay. Ayan. Ngayon, kung natulungan ko kayo sa video na ito, mga anak ko, at naintindihan ninyo kung paano nyo ba gagawin yung nasa module nyo, please comment yan sa ating comment section na please help me up this video, mga anak, by leaving your comment there. Kahit Ah, thank you lang or smiley ay okay na para kay Teacher Maria. Kaya huwag aalis nang hindi nagko-comment. At kung hindi pa nakaka-visit sa ating Facebook page, please visit Love Mat TV and i-click nyo yung follow ha. At syempre, share nyo na rin ito sa mga classmates ninyo para may guidance sila. At laging tandaan, let's spread the love of math. Thank you and bye!